what's the greatest danger we have as Americans, or maybe you can answer it as Catholics right now, and then what's our biggest hope? The greatest challenge that we have is um, is the devil is alive and on the move. You know, um, he hates the church, he hates the family, he hates human beings, and and there are you know there are demons swirling around the heads of our children. Yeah, you know, and and wanting to drag them you know into the sexual revolution and to hell. Yeah. You know, uh, that's the biggest challenge, but the biggest hope. And the the next book that I do after my book with um, with uh, Cardinal Burke is is based on a talk that I give called No Finer Time to Be a Faithful Catholic. And I give this talk and people at the end of it are standing and cheering because they're hearing things that they forgot. Yeah. And and w- one of the main things is God put us on this earth at a time of maximum danger. <laughs> and how wonderful is that? He trusts the likes of you and me. Yeah to do his right. battle. Yeah. And That's remarkable. He's equipping we're, us too. Yeah. We are not, you know, we don't live in a time of complacent Catholicism where it would be easy to slide and even lose your faith. Here you have to fight for your faith and God put this big battle in our feeble hands. And we also have lived through a remarkable time in the church. And I'm going to save that for my book. There, When you look awesome. at the last 15, 20 years in the church, including what's going on now, it is one of the most remarkable epics the church has ever lived through. Agreed. So I, I say it's a better time to be a faithful Catholic than the second century. Wow. That's big. You know, I want to just close with something about, you said the devil is, is here. He's swirling around our children. And I want to encourage everybody watching to do the same. Every night you might do it with your children as well. I pray a prayer. And I just say, if there are any unclean spirits, any demons in our home or affecting or tempting any of the 10 of us, we bind them in the blood of Jesus and send them to the foot of the cross to be judged, never to bother us again. Whoa. We pray that every night. It's, a, it's like a binding prayer. A priest taught it to me, my old spiritual director. S- send that to me in an okay, email. Okay, I will. And then, um, and then each one of my kids, they line up and I bless them on the forehead. I invoke their patron saints, you know, so like Saint, may St. Jude pray for you, St. Ambrose, may your name, Father, and Holy Spirit. Because... The demons are getting into our homes through computers, TVs. I mean, we have to be so vigilant as parents through negative influences at school, mobile phones, even if it's not your kid's mobile phone, someone else's. There's so much trash and there's so much demonic activity and we're more and more post-Christian that we really do need to be daily cleansing out our homes of these evil influences through prayer, through devotion, through blessing our kids, which we can do as Catholic parents. So, um, nice. you know, even if you don't have kids, pray those prayers, you know, yeah. and stay close to Our Lady and, and uh, the Church, the Eucharist. 